Hi and welcome back to the course. As I said before, in this section we're going to be creating a microblog. And in order to store the microblog posts, we're going to need a database. Another option would be to use a file and, and just save our posts to a file, but that's uh, not something that you will encounter very often uh, when you're working as a software engineer. So we're going to stick with the database, which is slightly more complicated. It will be a bit more work but it will be well worth it um, when you do get it set up. So, we're going to be using MongoDB and in the next couple of videos I'm going to be going over uh, why we're using MongoDB and, um, and sort of how to use it and things like that. It's, it's really quite simple, in fact. I was very surprised when I started learning about MongoDB how easy it was um, to do pretty much anything with it. And, in fact, Installing MongoDB, which is what we're going to be doing in this video, is actually not that difficult either, although it does incur some work. Now, if you go to this link here, which should be linked under the video, uh, in, in the uh, instructions under the video, you will find that um, you can install MongoDB in, in all the different systems that you would expect. So I'm using Mac OS X, so MongoDB already tells me that I can download the Mac OS X version, uh, and that's fine. Um, you can also install it for Linux if you're using a Linux distribution. Simply select your distro here. I'm sure you don't need any help with that. Most people will likely be using Ubuntu, so choose the appropriate Ubuntu version or, or whatever else you're using, of course. Um, and also you can install it for Windows, and I'm sure that a lot of you are using Windows. And unfortunately, Windows is the most complex of the installations, but that doesn't mean it's too difficult. So if we go to the installation instructions, um, which should be opening here momentarily as my internet fails in the best moment. And there we go. Um, I meant to have good internet, but um, it, it hasn't been working too well. Okay, so to install MongoDB on Windows, um, there are a couple things you have to know which are here at the top, uh, which starting with version 2.2, the current version of MongoDB as of this video is 3.0. So MongoDB does not support Windows XP. So unfortunately, if you're using Windows XP, I can't really help you uh, with that. Uh, you will not be able to run MongoDB on, ver on the latest version. You'll have to use uh, 2.1, which is quite old. So I cannot recommend doing that. So if you're using Windows XP, what I do recommend is that you install Ubuntu uh, in either your machine by dual booting or by using VirtualBox. If you use VirtualBox, you can download Ubuntu and install VirtualBox inside, uh, sorry, install Ubuntu inside your Windows environment, so you won't have to restart in order to run Ubuntu, and you can always delete Ubuntu later on when you're finished with the course. Uh, sadly, I'm not going to be getting into how to do that here, but it's really easy, simply uh, look for how to install Ubuntu with VirtualBox and it's really very easy. Um, I've done it many times myself. And also if you're running any edition of Windows Server 2008 or Windows 7, which I'm guessing a lot of people are, you'll need to install a hotfix uh, which shouldn't be a big problem. Also do remember that on Windows MongoDB requires Windows Vista or later, of course, um, and down here it says MongoDB for Windows 64-bit only runs on Windows 7 64-bit and newer versions on of course Windows Server but I, I don't think anybody's using that. So you'll need Windows 7 64-bit. If you're using 32-bit versions or Windows Vista you're going to need MongoDB for Windows 32 bits, which has a, a, an important limitation in my opinion which is that you can only have databases up to 2 gigabytes in size. I'll use this time as well to recommend that you upgrade to a 64-bit version of your operating system if you are using a 32-bit version. However, you still have Microsoft, sorry, MongoDB for Windows 64-bit legacy, which will run on Windows Vista 64-bit, um, but does not include recent performance enhancements, and that's not a big deal for us. We're not going to be uh, squeezing performance out of MongoDB. So, if you're using a 32-bit computer uh, operating system, I I'd suggest you upgrade to 64-bit unless your hardware cannot support it, uh, which hopefully that's not the case. If you're using 64-bit Windows Vista, install 
and MongoDB for Windows 64-bit legacy. And if you're using Windows 7 64-bit or newer, then install the normal uh, default version. And if you're not sure which version you're using, you can just uh, use that command there. And after that, it's really uh, not that difficult. Simply go back to the downloads page, download the appropriate version, that now you know which one it is, and then follow the instructions here, uh, which are extremely thorough, uh, and they are not very difficult at all. After you've installed MongoDB, you'll have a few files, one of which is MongoD, uh, MongoD with a D at the end, that you can run, and uh, that will start the MongoDB server in your laptop, or computer, rather. Um, if you do have any problems, let me know. It should be fairly simple to get it started, um, and this guide here uh, is very, very good uh, to get started with it. So, of course, do read through it and try, try to uh, get that installed. In order to install it in Mac, I recommend we go to the Homebrew page, which is also linked below. And if you install Homebrew, Homebrew is a package manager, which means that once you install Homebrew, you can use Homebrew to install other things very easily. And in order to install Homebrew, you just need to uh, copy that into your terminal. Um, in order to open the terminal, simply open up Spotlight and type uh, term, and then you'll find the terminal there and then simply copy that and paste it into the terminal that will install Homebrew um, and after you've done that uh, you can go to the downloads page again Mac OS X installation instructions and then it'll tell you that you can install MongoDB with Homebrew and it's really very easy to install with Homebrew simply type brew update in your terminal and then brew install MongoDB and that's all you've got to do to install it in the Mac. Really, it's that simple. So the Mac, a bit easier. Uh, in, if you're in Linux, you can use um, the apt package manager or yum to install it uh, very easily as well. I'm sure you know how to do that. Simply do uh, yum install mongodb or apt get install mongodb. Uh, and in both cases, it should work. Okay, so that's how you install MongoDB. Sorry for the lengthy video. We have to go through different uh, operating systems. And um, I apologize again if you're in Windows for the extra difficulty in doing that. But I promise it will not take very long to get it installed. And once you have it installed, you won't have to touch it ever again. You'll just have to double-click an icon and, and run MongoDB, and that's all you've got to do. So, once you've got MongoDB installed, proceed on to the next video, where we're going to be just quickly going over uh, how to use MongoDB. So I'll see you there.